Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom config for Rage. I'm going to show you how to copy it and paste it to Notepad and how to save it and where to save it so that it'll work uh, when you play Rage. Uh, you're going to go to this website right here. I'll leave a link in the description. It gives you, a, it tells you where to put things for single player and multiplayer. You have to put it in different locations. Um, here's the different values, very high, low, blah, 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 enhanced for some settings. I've already switched everything to what I want it to be. There's a lot of different settings, render settings, game, virtual texture. Speaking of the virtual texture settings for NVIDIA specific stuff, for the CUDA texture transcoding, you want to put two if you have an NVIDIA card. If you don't, if you have an ATI card, just put zero. Um, another big thing um, is these physical page images, which are the, che the texture files. Default is 4096 by 4096, and you want to put it to very high, which is 8192. Um, that's the thing that makes a big difference um, is the texture files, uh, you know, HD textures. I don't know if it's HD textures, but it's higher definition than stock or the original. So anyway, you can also change uh, speed of the player while sprinting, running, walking, and crouched. You can toggle sprint on or off. There's some sound settings too. Um, Anyway, you go to create, once you're done setting it up, and it will come up with this. Now, I don't know if you have to copy all this or not, but right here where it says Echo Rage Config Version 1.0, that's where I copy it from, where it says Echo Console and Intro Skip Active. You just highlight it all down to the bottom, right click, copy, open Notepad, right click, paste and there you go and you want to save as rage config dot cfg I already have one in there uh, but you just save it and then in order to move it you open it's only showing text documents right now so you want to switch to all files you want to go down to rage config right click cut and you want to go to program files steam steam apps common and then go to rage now rage is it says rage shortcut on mine because i have the steam library installed on a different drive but on yours it most likely will just say rage so you click on that it takes you into the main folder and then you click on base and then you would right click paste that's all you gotta do I already have a copy in there so I'm not gonna paste um, but you get out of all that and if you are currently logged on to Steam log off and then log back in because it won't take effect until you do so you start up Steam you know go to play the game and yeah so that's it. I also want to show you another little trick. You right click on Rage in Steam, go to Properties, Set Launch Options. Now if you type this in, plus com underscore, is that underscore? Skip intro video dash or space one. If you type that in, it will skip the intro video. Now I know there were settings on the config file that said you know skip intro video and everything but I don't believe they work in the config file I think you have to put them in that in the launch options but I'm not sure um, anyway I uh, hope this was helpful um, if you enjoyed leave a like if it helped you leave a like um, yeah and I will see you in the next rage video or whatever other video I do